Ramon and Jessica, it's so much fun to have you here because I'm a huge Biggest Loser fan, and I just thought you were the most adorable couple. Thank you, of course, fell in love on the show. Thank you. That's right. We did. I won as soon as I stepped out of that room. That's right. Aww. <laughs> well, you know, we both won in the end. Yeah. You know, we got our lives back, and then we got each other, and we we're able to start our lives happy and healthy. That's right. So. Great, great. Now, Jessica, you're from here. I am. I live in Murraysville. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he's here to visit you for the holidays. You get an A plus for that, Ramon. That's Going right. I got to get them brownie points, right? <laughs> <laughs> How's it been? What have you been doing? It's been a lot of fun. You know, we're doing a lot of work. We're now the new um, trainers for the Biggest Loser Resort in Malibu for Fitness Ridge. And so we're doing a lot of certification training for our certifications. Um, and then on top of that, you know, just getting back into the grind, you know, working out, getting back to real life, learning what it's like to be regular people at That's Christmas right. time yeah. and uh, so we're you know taking it day by day but having a great time what'd you give each other for Christmas oh well I bought her some workout stuff yes. of course you yes. know a Lululemon bag and all that good stuff and and actually a nice dress that she's gonna wear for a wedding that we have to go to not our wedding but my cousin's <laughs> wedding um, he's getting married tomorrow yep. on uh, or excuse me he's getting married on the uh, New Year's so we're gonna be spending that day together and then for him I actually surprised him with headshots so we're gonna get him out in the TV awesome. area and um, it was a big surprise very nice. So yeah. no engagement ring. Everyone wants no. to know. Not <laughs> no. yet. It, it, like we tell everybody all the time, it will happen. But you know, we just got off of TV, so we're out of TV land. We're back in real life, and so it's time for our parents to meet, yeah, for us yeah. to really get to know each other's families, and um, you know, be real people for a little bit before we take that plunge that we know we will take, but just need some time. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm meeting all the family now. She's meeting all the family. You know, I had Palomalu hair before, and now they get to, re you know, everybody gets to meet the real me, and you know, so it's like uh, now, now we're gonna get to do everything family oriented orientated before we do our own family, right? <laughs> it's a good exactly. plan, and you look fabulous. Thank you. You look outstanding. Thank you. you walked in and, you know, of course, I was in awe. <laughs> <laughs> you look Thank great. You. You look, because we watched your, your progress throughout the entire season. Yeah. So how do you keep it up now that the show's over? Well, you know what? Actually, we were just calculating how much we've really lost because in a year's time, both of us have lost a total of 266 pounds together, Jeez. which is pretty insane. So myself, 112, and Ramon, um, 154. Yeah. So anytime you lose that much weight, in that short period of time, you've got to really work to keep it off. Um, but we try to keep things as real as possible, and that's exactly what we preach on TV and off. Um, so we're back in real life, and you know, when we want a little treat, like my salty pretzels that I'm addicted to, <laughs> I will have those, but in moderation and on occasion. So we're kind of getting back to the grind as far as real people, you know, have your little bits and treats here. Um, but we stay very regimented, and um, we try to get our workouts in. We're not working out eight hours a day, but no, you know, not. you know, get back into you know doing your work nine to five, and then getting your workout in. So yeah, it's a it's a real lifestyle change. It's not a diet anymore. It's not. It's never been a diet. It's mm -hmm. from the very start. It's become a lifestyle change for us. And now we're doing the same thing. We have taken this and changed every bit of our life. You know, 180 degrees. And now we're gonna keep living that way. You know, we'll keep living healthy every day of our lives. And uh, you know, yeah, when we want to have that treat, we're gonna have that because real people need to know that you do need to have a treat every once in a while to get your get your mind right and, and get feeling about better about yourself. But then once you hit that gym again, that's when you real feel good. Right. And that's what we're trying to learn now. Being home is being real people so that when we have our clients at the Biggest Loser Resort, yep. we can take them in and say, listen, you know, we're not just preaching. We live this. We live this lifestyle and it is doable. And I mean, how better can you learn from somebody who you can tell really does do it? So that's right. we're kind of getting everything in shape. Everyone probably wants some advice on, on, right. on what to do. If there's one thing you can tell someone in the gym, is it not doing the same thing every day? Yeah, you know what, to be honest with you, my big thing right now is beyond the workout, it's nutrition. It's 90% nutrition, 10% working out for a successful, healthy lifestyle. So my biggest preaching is drink your water, yep. get your vegetables, especially your green vegetables, and get your lean meat, get your chicken and your fish in, and really, you know, eat your carbs, but eat them, you know, through your fruits and your vegetables and not through the pretzels that, you know, I'm <laughs> guilty of eating myself right. and then as far as working out goes you know when you're when you're in the gym pick an attainable goal that's the biggest thing when when you're an overweight person or when you're even an active person you go into that gym you want to go 100 miles an hour you want to do it mm -hmm. for three days and then you want to quit mm -hmm. because you're going too hard pick an attainable goal start off slow you know do that half a mile do that one mile walk and then once you're ready to run you're gonna see your body's able to do it because you've started out slow pick those attainable goals achieve them and then go 100%.
you know, we just signed up for the Hollywood Half Marathon, yep. talking to people through via Twitter about the Pittsburgh Marathon that we're hoping to do as well. And, you know, we're getting a lot of new exercise people to running, and they want to set these goals to do this half marathon or this marathon, and they don't run. So, you know, we just like we would preach to them, start slow. Don't get your body in a big fuss because you're going to just want to quit. That's and right. You know, it may, you might not be able to run a mile like we weren't on day one. Um, but no if way. you if you walk a block and then you run a block and then you walk two blocks and then you run two blocks, eventually you will get to that half marathon point or wherever your goal is. And that goes to the same point in the gym. You know, you may not be able to run or even use the elliptical. Change it up. You know, get on the bike, go slower, and eventually, once your body starts to conform and adapt to the exercise, you'll be an all star in the gym. Now, a lot of people say, I, I, I don't like working out. Right. Do you actually like working out now that y it's part of your routine and you've done it for so long? We love it. I, okay. I am <laughs> in love with working out. I mean, this is this is the best thing that could ever happen to you. Once you feel that strength in the gym, once you feel that you can go there and you can do things that you haven't been able to do in such a long time, you want to go to the gym. You want to go hiking. You want to go biking. You want to go swimming. You want to go do all these things that make an active lifestyle and it's fun. It doesn't seem like a workout ever, right? Yeah, I mean, there is definitely a big difference and I think it's it's funny, but Legally Blonde, they eventually had said something that, you know, exercise gives you endorphins and endorphins make you happy. Do, you know, blonde girls, that kind of thing. So, um, <laughs> It's a completely true. You know, I mean, we will have our days where we don't want to work out, and, you know, maybe I don't, and I don't feel good. But right. when I go to the gym, maybe I have to force myself to go. I do know by at the end of that workout, so I'm going to feel so good. I'm going to know that I accomplished something, and that pushes me to go the next day. Mm -hmm. And that's 100% true. You know, get those endorphins going, get yourself happy and healthy, and then that way, you already set yourself up for success that day. You're going to want to eat healthy. You're not going to want to eat the junk food. And, I mean, it's a win-win either way you go around it. All right. Well, yeah. now let's get the scoop on the biggest loser. Okay. Yep. We, we see a workout, workout, and, and, and we don't see a lot of the fun behind the scenes. <laughs> what do you guys do when you're not working out? Okay, so we do. We work out eight to ten hours a day <laughs> yeah, on the show, so it is a job. But, um, you know, we had our downtime, and luckily we had our red team with us, you know, our hard work dedication right, group. Right, here. Um, the original five, and we slept together all the time. Um, we ate together, and, you know, eating became fun because we took ourselves away from the TV, sat ourselves outside and had a conversation and discussed start at each other and our goals. Um, Vinny always had his guitar and we would play yep. some silly songs and uh, you know make up things about the day and actually we had a lot of songs about Dolvet and <laughs> calling him Dolvader and you yep. know I, we found joy in just you know silly things that would happen in the gym you know I mean just like you would do things at work you know Okay, somebody right, right. fell out of their chair at work. Yeah, you know, we, we do the, the same day. thing at gym. Mm -hmm, like, yep. you know, maybe I fell off the treadmill. That would be something we would talk about and we would laugh about it. And, and it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, you know, and, uh, we built a relationship off of each other and it was just communication really got us through. And okay. like a big thing we did, uh, you know, to end <laughs> nights and, and to do things throughout the day is we'd walk miles together yeah. like, as a team. And that's where we do our primarily you know, talks to with each other and mm -hmm. learn about each other was walking a mile. So we never seemed like we were actually exercising. We were exercising walking that mile, but we were talking to each other and we were learning more about each other and, you know, getting to hear these funny, crazy stories from Patrick and Vinny and, you know, I, I'm right in the mix and we're doing craziness, but uh, that's, that's how we like to do it. Nice, nice. And, and what about the trainers? I've talked to Bob a couple times and I talked to Dovet before yeah. the show right. started and they always talk about the relationships that they build with the people mm -hmm. who they train. What's it like for you? Okay, so Dovet is our best friend. I mean, there's, right. I mean, you sometimes it's hard to tell on TV, you know, is that really a true relationship? It is 100% true. We wouldn't be wearing these shirts if it wasn't for him. Um, you know, we live in L.A. right now, and we go out with Dolvet probably once a week. You know, we meet with him. He keeps us on track. He is our mentor and our friend, and um, it's amazing. I mean, I think without him, we could have been struggling a little yeah. bit more at home. Um, he checks in on us, keeps us, you know, going, and reminds us, you know, be accountable. And, and he's there for us 100%. And I don't know how other relationships are with other trainers, but out of the millions that I've tried before the show, you know, I've never had that relationship before and this has really helped. Yeah, it's definitely more than a trainer, trainee concept. It's, he's actually our friend and, you know, I look at him as one of my best, mm -hmm. one of my best guy friends in the world. Like this dude is gonna stand up with me everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's like, we can get this phone call from him and, uh, He's right there with us. Yeah. That's so nice. I love yeah. hearing that. <laughs> he's, he's back for the next season. Yes. Right? He is. He yes. Is. That was uh, that was brought up in the season finale. We showed a couple of clips yep. of that, and you know we couldn't be prouder. Um, it was something we really wanted more than anything. I mean, regardless of what was happening in our show, we wanted Dovet to really succeed because. 
you know, we live and breathe him, and he has taught us to do everything right 100% from the beginning. And and that's how we teach now. That's how we teach our clients, and it's from him, and I yep. want him to be so successful, and he deserves everything. That's right. Great, and we're hoping to maybe see you on the next season. We were talking about it off camera, maybe. Yeah, you Come on that. NBC, yeah. right? I mean, yeah, right, let's exactly. go. NBC, NBC, get us on. <laughs> Jess and Ramon, we need to be on the next season, <laughs> season 13 of Biggest Loser, because we can help some people as well. Who better can, you know, teach the new season you know, from the ones that just went through it. And that's, right. you know, and that's what our, our hopes are. And, you know, you never know, and those who watch the show know that you do get surprise guests from past seasons. And we're, I mean, fingers are crossed that we come back, and we love that place, and oh, yeah. I would live there if I could. <laughs> I really would. Right? So. Yeah, you'd have to kick me out of there now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I understand you have some details, too, about the next season. Just a little bit that you can God. tell us. Yeah, you know, um, I'm actually uh, blogging for season 13. So, on so go on NBC.com and check it out, and you can hear hear me talk about the show. I'll watch it with you guys. So it, it's going to be something that I get to talk about and I get to see. And you know, I think season 13 is going to be full of twists and turns already. You've seen in in the promos that uh, at our finale, you know, Santa Claus is there. We got some <laughs> crazy things going on in season 13, and it's, it's going to be a great season. You know, there's a lot of fun people on there, and you know, I, I can't wait for it. Mm -hmm. You're going to see a lot of twists and turns. Um, you know, and I was saying earlier. You know, it's different seeing the show as a cast member and as a viewer. And but at the same time, it's this crazy show that brings people together around the world, and you change lives. And this season is no different. Um, we've just viewed the first episode, and we're excited to share it with everybody on January third. We can't wait. We can't wait. And Ramon, I was cheering for yeah. you and towards the end because it was down to the final <laughs> thank three. You, thank you. Of course, Jessica oh, wanted no, you to I, go far I'm too. With you, but, too. <laughs> but you won the marathon. I thought yes. you almost had it, but. You know, oh wow. Well. But you, you did a great job, and I'm so glad that this show brought the two of you together. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like I said, I I won from the get go, and we did. We won. We earned our lives back, mm -hmm. and, uh, we, we can't thank Biggest Loser enough for this great opportunity because they have changed our lives forever. And now we get to live a healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. together and keep each other on track. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're best friends. And now we get to we get to endure some serious uh, everything. You know, it's great. I can't stop talking about how much fun we're going to have. And I think the biggest thing for us now is because we're now trainers, um, we want people to come and visit us. And, Definitely. you know, and a lot of people worry about the cost of what a trainer costs or what the Biggest Loser Resort costs. But you know what? Think about this. Add up, you know, the drive throughs and the, the diet pills and the books that you bought I used to buy um, mm -hmm. add that all up and you realize you're wasting so much money so take an investment in yourself and get your butts to the biggest loser resort yeah. so you can work out with us and, um, right. and we can help get this epidemic out of here you know by 2020 we're supposed to see I think 80% of men to be obese and 72% of women um, and I believe that 75% of America is gonna be pre-diabetic or diabetic and we really want to get you know our our hands on that and probably bring that down as fast as we can and give education to our kids too so that's our goal and we're gonna do it together as best friends a couple and that's right biggest losers so fun. Well, thank you so much. This was so much fun. Thank you. Thank, thank you for coming you. in. Thank yeah. you so much. Uh, <laughs> I know. Yeah, right. so I much. feel like I know you because I like you all the time. That's yeah. how we do it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Oh.